right kids, this is the Yamaha APX 500 Mark III. Yamaha APX 500 Mark III. This is an acoustic electric six string guitar. And this was one of musician friends' stupid deals of the day. Now, how that works is, if you belong to your musician's friend or if you shop from them, you know, you log on and you see, you know, this stupid deal of the day. And this bad boy here was $200 off. You got a nice finish, you know, vintage, kind of like a tobacco burst finish. Really nice, you know. Um here around the DF hole or sound hole it's oval you got an oval sound hole which is nice it cuts down a little bit on the feedback and you got a couple of little uh, you know make-believe mother of pearl uh, inlays there uh, you got some nice binding going around uh, the top I think is uh, maple and the sides look like a real nice mahogany. I mean, really nice work. Back looks like mahogany. You've got now. This is uh, this is something I really liked about this this guitar. You can see that they did like kind of like a matte finish here on the back of the neck. So this the back of this neck is pretty slick. And it's all set up. I don't have to do anything to it. I, I don't know if you watch any of my other guitar videos, but I have to, I cannot stand having too much finish back here because it gets all gummy. So this is perfect. I, I love this right here, what Yamaha did. Uh, you got some, you know, your basic tuners. Um, got a plastic nut. And there's the... Uh, Yamaha on the headstock and you've got just a little fake mother of pearl inlay and you got some dots you know dot inlays uh, up here is the in the upper belt is where they put the battery which is a good that's a good place for it I think and then down here we have our electronics and we have a built-in tuner we have um, low mid high and then there's uh, a control here to uh, do uh, to select the the center frequency of your mid so you can run it uh, on the high side at 10k and you can do your cut and boost at 10k or you can drop it down to uh, 80 uh, and then you know it's like a low mid and then you have your boost and cut. Here's your um, tuner switch, and it has a built-in tuner right there. There's your master volume. One of the one of the neat things about this is that, well, I mean, obviously it was a, I mean, it was a deal. I mean, two hundred dollars off. I mean, this 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 guitar sells for four hundred bucks, and they sold it. Uh, they they had it at one ninety nine. Uh, here's your um, output jack is built into the strap button. You got nice. Uh, I noticed in here it's got nice purfling going on, and I like the bracing. You know, for made in China, this is not a bad looking guitar. And I mean, and it, it plays, it really does play nice. It's got kind of like a, it almost sounds to me like an ovation. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the good recording mic set up, but that'll give you an idea of it's got a lot of punch to it, mid-range punch. And the sound hole, I think the fact that it has an oval sound hole, um, really gives that 
that flavor, that, that mid cut through. So you can cut through the mix a little bit with this thing if you're up on stage. Um, nice sustain. And that's what I've always liked about Yamahas. They have a nice they have a nice sustain to them, nice rich harmonics. You know, even playing, you know, cowboy chords, you know, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear those harmonics ring. I mean it's just they ring right out. Um right out of the box, she had a little bit of a back bow. Uh so what I did on this guitar I uh, I went ahead and adjusted the truss. Uh, it has the, you know, it has the truss rod adjustment here in the sound hole. In fact, uh, it was nice enough. They even give you like a, a a long enough, you know, hex key to get to that. So um, she was a little back bowed. So I, you know, loosened up the neck a little bit to get her flat. Remember now. Uh, Righty tighty, lefty loosey, same thing here. So, little, just a little turn counterclockwise, and tuned it back up to pitch. And you know she's pretty much flat at this point. Now, as the winter moves along, I'm going to be checking the setup on this guitar. Probably at some point, going to put a little bit of relief in it, just a little bit of, you know the correct bow meaning you know we want it to kind of just a little you know a little bit like that you know we don't want it perfectly straight because then you know there won't be any relief for the strings to you know they actually turn in circles if you looked at it under a under a slow speed stro stroboscope it's kind of cool uh, obviously you don't want a back bow you would like you know flat or just a little concave so you have some relief, but I mean, even it's got a real nice mid punch to it. I had it plugged in. It sounds really nice with the built-in onboard equalizer. Um, you know, really, four hundred dollar guitar. I got it for half price, so I got this, and then I ordered the Ibanez. Uh, bass that I reviewed in the last video. I mean, that's some good stuff. I mean, it's really good stuff. I mean, yeah, of course it's made in China. It's not, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's not top, top of the line or even midline. But for me, it's exactly what I wanted because where I live now, Bluegrass is big out here. Country is big out here. In fact, what's really big out here is just to sit out on the front porch and play an acoustic, play an acoustic bass. Another guy has a banjo. Somebody else has a mandolin. Um, you know, and just play. And just, just play for the joy of playing, you know, without getting all complicated, you know. And, and I just... I wanted a couple of guitars. I wanted a six string acoustic and I wanted an acoustic bass to give me that that porch, you know, that porch factor, you know, so I could sit out on the porch and just play some songs and <clears throat> do a little singing with my neighbors. Excuse me, I, I have a cold right now. So Yamaha APX 500 Mark III. And I got it at Musician's Friend, stupid deal of the day, $199, out the door, love it. I did the same thing I did with the Ibanez bass, the acoustic bass. I just allowed this guitar to sit in its box and just slowly climatized it to the house and, and to the temperature here up in the hills, up in the mountains. And she's doing well. She's playing well. It looks like a great guitar. I mean, it's got a really nice finish to it. Very happy with both both guitars. Very, very happy. So I hope you get something out of this video. Um, be sure. I don't get paid to do this. I don't get anything for this. But 
for your benefit, uh, you know, at least get on their mailing list, you know, put your email in at musician's friend so that you can get a heads up on one of those stupid deals of the day. And you'd be amazed at some of the things that, that they uh, heavily mark down. And you can grab something like this for half the price. I mean, you know, it's a $400 acoustic for 200 bucks. You can't beat that with a stick. So thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe if you like the channel. And I appreciate everybody stopping by and checking out the Yamaha APX 503 Acoustic Electric Guitar. Take care.